your online video recap in association with Astounded.com. Hiya, Kath. Lovely to meet up with you on the range again and do some further work on your game over the weekend. Just a quick recap on the key points that we covered. First of all, if we look at address now, arms nice and straight, handle leaning towards the target a little bit. The thing we discussed was your impact position. All good ball strikers do a couple of things through impact. First of all, the left knee is able to move out in front of the left ankle, getting the, le the weight more on the left side. You can see there that doesn't quite happen with yourself. And the handle of the club leads the club head through impact. So we can see there that the shaft of the club sitting quite vertical with the weight not full, fully onto the left hand side. So we should be looking at about 85% of the weight being on the left there. When a player's weight is struggling to get back to the left side and the club head is passing the hands, the player tends to hit the ground behind the ball in, a t in an attempt for this not to happen, the player starts to either stand up, divide the elbows, or a combination of the two. We can see that the elbows are substantially farther apart than they were at address. So in order to combat, combat this, what we did was decided to work and isolate on your impact position a little bit more. So what we've got here is we've got your normal setup position. We've put the weight the most forward. We've positioned the handle the most forward, and then we've just asked you to hit some little shots, maintaining that relationship, just to give you a feel for where you need to be at impact. Weight into the left side, handle leading, elbows nicely together. You can see they're compressing that golf ball. Completely different look at impact to what we've seen at the start of your session. And when you did that, you can see the but you strike the ball nicely first and the ball's dispatched in the air pretty much every time with no chance of hitting the ground behind the ball. So we take a little look at you at the end of your session. Let's see what sort of movements have changed. First of all, when we look at your setup, just after isolating your impact position for a while, at setup, we started to get the handle farther forward so you can see there are much stronger looking setup position here than we see here at the start during the backswing the left knee doesn't move in behind the ball quite as much making it easier for you to now get the weight fully into the left side and an impact Left knees further forward. Handle of the club coming in a little bit better. And importantly for you, the elbows have divided much less. So is the impact position on the top right the same as the one on the bottom left? Definitely not. The one on the bottom left is really, really good. And will we want it long term? But is the impact position top right better than the impact position top left? Definitely. There's a lady on the top right who now doesn't have any issues about hitting the ground behind the ball and she's just got to learn to expand those arms a little bit more during the downswing. Good luck with it and I look forward to working with you again in subsequent sessions. Well done.